Hi, my name is Yu Jia. I'm a senior lecturer in mechanical engineering at Aston University. Welcome to Aston. My name is Laura Leslie and I'm the head of mechanical engineering and design at Aston University. So our approach to learning and teaching in mechanical engineering and design is very student-centred. We're really positive about active learning, about students learning by doing, and we follow the CDIO philosophy, which is conceive, design, implement, operate. So we want students not just to learn the theoretical, but also try out the practical side of engineering. There are a number of us already using tech equipment apparatus in our modules, but we're starting to expand that. So we're working with the tech equipment team to see what's available, what would be good for our students, so that we can really equip our lab with the latest in learning and teaching uh, equipment. We're very excited about the new static and dynamic balancing kits that we just received from tech equipment. So this is one of my favourite kits and we have a lot of students trying to work out the uh, counterbalances for an uh, unbalanced problem. And for example in this particular rotor here, when I start it, you can see quite violent vibration and the students are then required to calculate where exactly to position the counterbalances. And the equations are quite dull and they have to work through vector diagrams, but when you get a perfectly balanced rotor which you can validate practically in front of your eyes, then all the math seems to make sense. And we have this uh, setup here, which is a balanced rotor. So you can see a very smooth rotor balancing there. So essentially it's almost a challenge for the students where they need to use the math and then trying to validate it in practice. So the dynamics content uh, at Aston University so far has been primarily based on theoretical and textbook uh, based content. And I actually joined Aston quite recently, early this year. And from my previous practice in using the static and uh, dynamic group balancing kits from the equipment, I was quite keen to get these kits on here, uh, the syllabus as soon as we can, because I think these are absolutely wonderful practical uh, equipment to help to bridge the gap between theory and practice for the students. I've used tech equipment apparatus in my own teaching for first year engineering science module, um, get, getting the students to work on beam bending, um, reaction forces and also centroids. Um, I've used the equipment for a few years now, I've always found it really easy to use, easy to set up and the students seem to enjoy using it. Um, we particularly like the fact that a lot of the stuff is, has a five year warranty and they're generally very nice bits of kit to work with. Yeah. The customer service is very good indeed. Aston University has a rich history with tech equipment, not just within our department, but the whole university. The founder of tech equipment, Sir Joseph Pope, Professor of Engineering, was actually Aston's Vice-Chancellor in the 1960s and 70s. 